Godrej Aerospace has said that the company manufactured actuators for Tejas light combat aircraft were successfully tested across all altitudes and speeds of operations, and now they have been cleared for production by the Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The actuators were originally designed and manufactured by the Aeronautical Development Agency, but it was decided that a private sector firm will take over the manufacturing. The central government is considering to remove defense projects from the purview of the Environment Ministry, which means that projects of strategic importance will not be appraised for their environmental impact, and will no longer require environmental and forest clearances if a proposal to the effect is accepted. The environmental clearance is one of the main reasons in the delay of creation of new DRDO missile test facilities. The Indian government is now looking to fast-track plans for basing additional military forces and development of new infrastructure in the strategically located Andaman and Nicobar Islands, to base additional ships, aircraft, air defense systems, BrahMos batteries and infantry soldiers under the Andaman and Nicobar command. Land allotments and clearances for the extension of the runway at the INS Kohasa Naval Air Station have just been completed, and the plan is to extend two more runways to 10,000 feet to support operations by large aircraft, and permanently base fighter jets on the island in the coming years. Apart from ramping up production of the indigenous Tejas fighter jet, India should make an attempt to procure more retired Mirage 2000 from France and Qatar, as Hindustan Aeronautics is fully capable of overhauling and upgrading them domestically. The Malaysian Air Force have also grounded 16 MiG-29 fighters from active service, and they can be upgraded to UPG standard by the 11 base repair depot of the Indian Air Force. India has already paid a hefty sum for 13 India-specific enhancements on 36 Rafale fighter jets, and if the $15 billion MMRCA tender is scrapped again, India should order 36 more Rafale fighter jets as it has the infrastructure ready, and accelerate the indigenous Sokka fighter jet program, that is proposed to be in the same class as Rafale aircraft. As the design phase of the AMCA fifth-generation fighter jet is nearing completion, the Aeronautical Development Agency will seek government funding by the end of 2020, and this sanction will be critical for manufacturing five prototypes flight testing and configuration. The sixth-generation fighters are already on the drawing boards of few leading countries, and joining France and Germany in the development of next-generation fighter program will also help in the indigenous AMCA program. The Indian Army is on the search for a future tank and an infantry combat vehicle that can be operable in both fronts with China and Pakistan, but the Army is interested in a theater-wise vehicle platform. The future ready combat vehicle will be the base platform for the Army's main battle tank, and a number of variants will be created including a light battle tank for mountainous regions. The DRDO can participate with its third generation Arjun Mark III design in the FRCV project, and the manufacturing will be undertaken by an Indian private sector firm. The DRDO is currently doing feasibility study on the 50-ton Arjun Mark III design with smaller dimensions, which will have a fully automatic turret, a larger ammunition storage, V-shaped hull design to increase crew survivability. The role of the driver and commander would be retained for two crews with duplicated controls, as the roles of the gunner and loader will be completely automated.